cool that you came to visit me. This is a new fire station, and it's just appeared in our town. And today we are going to be having fire drills. Let's see how it all works. The new fire station is so much bigger and more impressive than the old one. Here there are six fire engines for different purposes. Let's look at each of them, and what parts they're composed of. A fire tanker is the most common type of fire truck. Its purpose is to deliver the fire crew and firefighting equipment to the fire's location. And this is also used to spray the fire extinguishing foam and water in areas with no water. Let's see what parts the fire tanker truck consists of. Well, let's start. First, let's take the frame base of our fire tanker and attach a cab for the fire crew to sit inside of it. Inside the cab, we will fix the front and the rear seats. Now let's attach doors. Two doors on one side, and look at that, two doors on the other. We also have to fix the side mirrors to allow a driver to see what's happening behind it and klaxons on the side of the hood to prevent accidents on the road. Let's fix an equipment control unit. Then let's fix a big empty compartment for holding the tools. Now it's time for taillights! Let's put them on for making driving the fire tanker safe. What's next? Well, of course the most crucial part in our fire tanker is the storage reservoir for fluid extinguishing agents. This storage reservoir is called the tanker. With the tanker, we will place a foam line hose, which are attached to the tank valve. I think it's the right time to attach the wheels. Rear wheels of a fire tanker are double. Two wheels on one side, and two on the other side. And next go the front wheels. One, and two. The last detail that is left is the gas tank. This is a container for storing gasoline. Fire tankers have two gas tanks. Our fire tanker is from the fire station, so that means it must have flashlights on the roof and on each side of the tanker. Finished. Let's count our fire tankers. One, two, two fire tanker trucks. And this is a fire truck main purpose is transportation of all necessary firefighting devices, as well as transportation of the firefighters themselves. Well, let's start. First, let's take the frame base of our fire tanker and attach a cab for the fire crew to it. Inside the cab, we will fix our front and rear seats. Next, let's attach the doors. Two doors on one side, and two doors on the other. What's next? We also have to fix the side mirrors to allow the driver to see what's happening behind him. You have to be safe. To drive along the darkest streets, our fire tanker must have headlights. Let's put them on. Now let's set the frame with hinges and curtain doors. It contains safety and fire technical equipment. Let's fill these lockers with all the necessary equipment. I think it's time to attach the wheels. Let's start with the two front wheels. One, and two. 
now the real wheels on the fire tanker. They are double. Two wheels on one side, and two on the other side. What's next? It's time for the tail lights. Let's fix them to make driving safe. We also need to set the lights to the body of our fire truck. And we need a ladder. We need this ladder to climb the body of our fire truck. But we also need an extra ladder, a hydrant, and a pipe. Now let's set all the boxes with sand. They are very necessary for extinguishing the fire. That's all. Oh, wait. Not yet. Fooled you again. Our fire tanker is from the fire station. So that means it must have all the flashlights on the roof and on each side. Finished! How many container trucks are in our fire station? Looks like just one. One container or tanker truck is in the fire station. And these are the fire engines intended to deliver to the site of fire brigade call. The firefighting and rescue operations equipment and persons to them and the fire extinguishing substances and firefighting equipment as well as to supply fire extinguishing agents from other sources. Well, let's start. Firstly, let's take the base of our fire truck, to which we will attach all the parts. Now, let's attach a cabin, where a couple of firemen will sit. Over here! That's right! On the cabin, we are fixing light bars, which will alert everyone that the vehicle is driving to extinguish the fire. After that, let's attach the middle part with the firefighting equipment. We need to attach the two front wheels. One wheel on one side, and one wheel on the other side. The rear wheels of the fire truck are double. Two couples on one side, and you guessed it, two couples on the other side. Between the back and the middle parts, we are fixing a ladder. Now we need to put a swing mechanism for the lifting arm, so that the fire truck will be able to extend the ladder in any direction. Next, let's fix the lifting arm. The lifting arm of the fire truck consists of three extending parts. Well, one, two, and three. Perfect! The ladder is required to allow firemen to reach the highest floors of multi-floor buildings. Now we need to fix a cabin to the end of our lifting arm. So our fire truck extinguishes fires. And to make our vehicle steady, let's fix support beams. Two on one side, and two on the other side. Finished! Let's count how many fire engines of a general purpose there are. One, two, three! Three all-purpose fire trucks. It's time to start the fire drills. Attention, attention, fire alarm. We have everyone to leave the room. In this situation, each of us should call the emergency services and call the fire department. Friend, do you know what the numbers should be that we dial in such a situation? <laughs> You're so smart, that's right! 911! It's time to rush to the call! Can we get to the seat of the fire? Even during a training exercise, it is necessary to check the work of all mechanisms. We are all too.
tuned up. Fire drills were successful. Our new fire station is ready to go! Dear friend, it's time to say goodbye. Come and visit me more often. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.